Let's see how fast this thing gets. All right, guys. We're heading off to the racetrack to go test drive that electric semi truck. So I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I get there. We just pulled up to the vent. This is one of the first semi trucks that I noticed. This one's pretty cool. It gives me like a European vibe truck. This one right here isn't fully electric. This has H2 gas, so this is hydrogen gas. So technically, this would be the like long haul um, truck that we would use to long haul. This right here is the full electric. It's a Volvo. Honestly, it's nice. It's I like it. I don't know which one I'm going to test drive yet. I'm not going to test drive any of these. These are just the display ones. The ones that I'm going to test drive are out there. I'm just showing you guys this electric truck right here. So we're making our way to the yep. to the track right now, yep. and this is where all the trucks. Where I'm gonna be able to choose whatever truck I want to drive. I don't know what I want to drive yet, but I I'm probably gonna drive a bunch of them. But I'm probably gonna start off with a regular one, and then I want to show you guys one of those right there. That looks super cool. But let's go get in line and then test drive these things. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over from the tripod to point of view. And we're gonna start test driving these trucks, get in the Peterbilt, the first one, and then we're gonna switch. I can test drive all of these trucks. So I wanna try getting all these trucks. I wanna get a video of all these trucks, but the first one has to be a Peterbilt. So let's switch over to the point of view cam. We're gonna test drive the 579. This is an electric 579. So this is my first time. This is so crazy. Hi. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Jay. I'm Alex. Alex? The <laughs> inside view of it. All right, so don't do anything with the key, please. We're already keyed on. Okay. Usually when you turn it on, it goes through a bunch of checks, but okay. we don't want to go through those. So just put on your brake, and um, right here you twist that up to drive. Yep. And then you know, put your brakes in, and you're live, man. Okay. You're live. Man. All right, so this is the first drive on the... Now, when you get up to the green, wait till he gives you a green. Okay. Oh, he gave you the green. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right, so... This is the electric 579. How would you say this compares, like, uh, to a diesel? Because I drive this, I drive sure. one exactly like this, but sure. it's a diesel. Well, your significant difference is obviously um, electric. Yeah, I mean your drivetrain range is a big deal, right? So this truck right here, given the weight balance that we've come up with, it's very, it's very suited for. Um, last mile customers, drayage customers, that type of thing. So 150 miles. Yeah. Your stop and go actually assists. So we have regenerative braking. Yeah. I don't know what you're set on right now. If you pull that down, uh -huh. it's like a jake brake basically. Oh, you're, okay. You're adding, this down right here? Yeah, pull, pull. Yep. Like oh, that. oh, this, this is the jake brake right here. Yes, correct. You feel that? Oh, that's yeah. That's actually regenerative braking. So. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if they have jake brake. So this is pretty much the jake brake right here. That's what it is, right. So it helps you slow down and then it uses the inertia of the truck to actually recharge ah, the battery. That's crazy. So stop and go is actually ideal. Yeah, so how, how long does a battery on this thing last if you're doing local hauling? Would well, you like say? I said, we, we rated it 150 miles, uh -huh. the testing that we've done and the fleets that we have using them right now. Yeah. About 150 miles on a full charge. Oh, okay. Stop and go track. Yeah, okay. So right now, it guys. It be less than that if you go out on the interstate and haul ass and, you know, you're doing 75 miles an hour. And yeah, it's going to be way pounds, less. Yeah. It's going to drain fast. Yeah. All right, guys. So right now, we're going to do a little, I'm going to step on it for you guys. And then I'm going to, this is the Jake brake right here. And I'm going to turn that on for you guys once we get towards the end as well. So let's step on it right now. Let's see how fast this thing gets. only 
2050, that's when the Jake break on. You can feel it slow down right away. Put the Jake brake all the way down for you guys. Stop it. Literally, almost instantly, it stops. I'm used to it being so loud that it's quiet in here. It's 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 weird. You hear all the little suspensions. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Inside looks, guys. It's pretty much identical to mine, except obviously the the trims and everything's different. It's brand new. But it's it's crazy. Yeah, you, a lot of similar gauges. You got your cooling yeah. gauge and your your um, air pressure and that type of stuff. Are you guys making any sleepers? You guys have any sleepers or not we yet? Do not have sleepers at this time. But you guys are gonna make we will, for sure. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I would say for long hauls and all that stuff. Or like, how how convenient do you think this specific truck? This wouldn't be for a long haul, right? No. It, it wouldn't no, be it's possible. Not ideally suited for it. Oh, okay. This would be mainly for like local drivers that stay in Correct. the area. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually if somewhere where you're gonna park it in the same spot during the day if you drive at night or yeah. at night during if you drive during the day where you can charge it up overnight. Right here? Yeah. This is good right here, man. Alright, sounds good. Next we're gonna test drive this one. Jose right here said that this guy? one is super quick. This one's fast? Uh, it's the fastest one. I don't know. If you guys know a 675 horsepower, that's 700 horsepower basically. Yeah, yeah so I wanna test drive this one and see how this one feels like. This is the Nikola Motor one. I guess a competitor with Tesla? You yeah, said? it was the main one, honestly. Uh, and um, they've been developing it for a long time, but this thing's crazy. It's so quiet, it feels so weird. I keep telling them that it's so quiet. It's but the regenerative braking is a little too strong. It's six. Oh, I didn't even what's, have to use the brake pedal. I don't yeah, know. I know. It's because even in the 579, the braking, it's because then it's a, just the, the, the truck itself, it doesn't have any weight on the back. That one has level six, we can go to level three, but like I said, I'll leave it on level six. Oh, okay. But I didn't use the brake pedal at all, so we can over here. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna step on it too, honestly. We got the, the Volvo right here. If you get to 60, I owe you something. I, I'm gonna, I, do, you I wanna tr test drive the Nikola the one. Nikola? Yeah. Oh, look at this thing, the European. Hey, don't forget your baby seat. <laughs> oh man, this is tall. This is tall, man. Ahora primo, ¿cómo andamos? ¿Qué dice? Esta madre, si no está cerrada, no se mueve. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. Esto es el pedal. So, aquí abajo es para ajustar el steering wheel, si quieres. En el centro. En el centro. Allí. Para oh, aquí? Este. Hey. Oh. Oh, you just... Freno. Ah. So, para pa hacerlo release. Ajá. Ah. Por acá. Y este para allá. So, cuidado con este amigo, no te vas a llevar. Puedes parar ahí donde dice. Ok. Está el verde. ¿Sí lo puedo apretar hasta abajo? Ya. Yeah. ¿Sí? Ok. Y me indica. Yeah. Yeah. You even feel this truck go up. This is crazy. I'm gonna step on it all the way down and see. Oh, wait, yeah, we're gonna see how fast we can get. Give me some room to that truck. Okay. Let's see how fast we can get it. It literally feels like it goes up in the air. So I'm gonna give this guy a little room so I can have enough room to step on it. So we're gonna get it right now. We're gonna see how fast it goes from like. 15 miles per hour to 60. No puedo slow, parar slow, y darle slow, 0, 0 a 60. Slow, slow, slow. Aquí. Dale, no, 60, let's go 60. Oh, 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 oh man, this thing is crazy, crazy fast. 
All right, guys, check that out. God damn. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dang. I, it does, I don't know. ¿Cómo crees que, que lo sería con la, una carga llena? Same. Ex, ex, exacto? Same, dude. It doesn't lose any torque. Nothing? Nothing. So, usually I have, uh, I haul like, at least 80,000 pounds. And he says that it, it would not lose any torque. It would torque. pull the exact same. Like, oh, aquí, oh, this is a refrigerador? No, it's a cooler. Oh, it's a cooler. Oh, there's a little cooler right here, guys. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, up there. Ah, this is tall. This one, guys, this one has to be my favorite. This one was super fast. Put it in neutral right here. Oh, uh, we can put uh, the brakes. Oh, okay, put the brake? Without, without, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, no más? Yeah, y solo se va neutral. Oh, shit. Okay, gracias. ¿Qué era su nombre? Horacio. Okay, soy Alex. Mucho, mucho gusto. Sales. Ok, está bien. Puedes ir a Queen para que veas que no mentimos. Ok, está bien, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Para que veas que... Oh. Frío. <laughs> Dang, this one was... This truck, guys, was the best truck I've driven. Uh, Alex Nino. I like, just step on it. I was like, alright. Uh, hydrogen fuel cell one. This one, like I said, this one gives me like those European vibes. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, don't forget your baby seat. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Good. So, how would I do this one? So, first, put your seatbelt. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're driving a truck. <laughs> and then, uh, you can adjust your uh, seat if this you want one? to. It's a lever on the bottom. Yep. Okay. Go for it. And then, if you want to adjust your, your steering wheel, and then you pull this lever out and then push it up, and that's it. Ah, okay. And then I... Have you ever driven before? Yeah, I'm, I'm a truck driver. Oh, nice. What do you drive at? Uh, I drive a 579. Sweet. Is it a sleeper? Or... Yeah, it's a sleeper. All right, guys, so this is where I'm going to end off the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, my opinion on the electric semi truck, they're super fun to drive. But honestly, I'm going to have to stick with diesel because diesel would be just more reliable at the moment and it lasts way longer. I have 1,200 miles of diesel before it runs out compared to 150 miles of charge. It's just not ideal and I can't wait two hours at one place charging the truck when I have multiple pickups. But it is a fun experience.